Hey guys, I'm back for another episode of Honkai Star Rail. Oh, this will be good. So, we were leaving off with some good stuff last time. Um, let's see. Unlock at an equilibrium level. One, two, three, and four. Hmm. Well, that'll be interesting, but... I can wait. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So these two are weak against the wind. Let's do it. So you're weak against ice. And let's just go ahead and get you. Ah, excellent. So we continue on. Oh, what's in here? Investigate. Hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death. Hmm. Wait a minute, it's a person? Holding your breath won't help. I got this, March. <laughs> Poke. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. <laughs> My fine fellow, was that really necessary? He's crawling around in the snow a crime these days. I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. <laughs> Maybe not, but yeah, I just don't give a crap. <laughs> but then again, how can I blame you? I mean, <sighs> I caught you off guard. It it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Is Captain Jafard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. An old buddy, huh? Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Hmm. Why didn't you say? Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. I'm still. Excellent. Good to see you. I'll remember the name. I never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but mm -hmm. fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together. <laughs> <laughs> let's get Say, rich together. Why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel. The main strength of the Silvermane Guard is being deployed to the front line. Front this line is a of golden what? opportunity. Yeah, that's what I want to know. The front Come line. Now, friends, I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Well, sure I'm. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for... Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Well, then tell me about them. <laughs> is there a settlement Settle? nearby? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still <laughs> reside. Our beloved Bellabog. Bellabog. The, things. the city of preservation, the towering citadel, humanity's last mm -hmm. bastion against the eternal freeze. It may okay, then. Get over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. Okay, then. Why were you hiding me? in the snow? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. Seriously, though, <laughs> try treading a little lighter next time, huh? Yeah. You... I still have no idea who the Silvermane Guards even are. You really don't know? The Silvermane Guards are Bellabog soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. Ah, uh, you see. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. 
to be young and naive again. How about this? Is East. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. <laughs> no need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? <laughs> Already? <laughs> we haven't even started trading yet. Dang. But, but it would be my pleasure. Kindness is... <laughs> it would only cause thing yet. Uh, nope, nope, Follow nope. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. <laughs> nope. No spotted by the guards, please, and thank you. So why were you hiding from the Silver Mane guards? Yeah, we're just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need. What are these things, anyway? So, where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. No pressure. Uh, we're from a ways off. Ooh, another space anchor. Yep. Nothing. Nothing I can get a hold of. Oh well. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no time. Um, well. Uh, you remember the silver main guards I mentioned? That's them. <laughs> oh, fun. Old friends. I don't the suspect and his accomplice. Arrest them for what? This what did we do? Never. Over to you, dear friends. Hey, where do you think you're? He's gone. That's where he's going. He's not just going. He's already gone. Sad thing for you. Yeah, well. Come on, March. You can do it. Good job. This is our chance. Good job, girlie. Good job. Rules are made to be broken. <sighs> now, smash them both. You're welcome. Excellent. Ah, Same I should have saved it. I have no interest. I should have saved it. Oh well. I didn't know how good I had it. Gunner. Oh no. A grenade. Well, better uh focus on the truth of life and death. Revealed in an in this sanctuary. It's but a vision. There we go. Get that and get this one. Ah, there we go. Now. Yeah. Ouch. Now I got bleeding damage done. Take physical damage at the start of each turn. Oof. Well, you're not gonna get. Ah, physical breaker. Nice. Good job, March. Oh, what the heck? Holy crap. We're in trouble now. I, Japard Landau, captain of the Silver Main Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Ugh, that Sampo cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. Mm-hmm, you will. Relinquish your resistance. Never. So I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. Revealed in an instant. Mm-hmm. Come on. Let's go. Sanctuary is but a vision. Yeah. Break. Now. I'm not sure who I should use as a... Can I use her as a tank? There we go. 
Let's make it quick. Draw some good attention away. Ah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> time for a shot. Mm. Time. There we go. What the ha heck? Seriously? This sucks. Alright. What happens with this? If I attack him, do I get attacked back or what? I well I can always I, I can always see. Oh. When the summoner is defeated, the summon objects will also be defeated. Oh, so maybe if I just continue attacking him. Yeah! There we go. My turn. Awesome. And keep it going. Keep it going. Smite of frost, huh? Ouch. There we go. Got another one coming. Rules are made to be broken. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, come on. Really? Shoot. I'm down. And the prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost. <sighs> no matter. Hmm. You might be waiting longer than you think. We're not his accomplices. Yeah, we'd never team up. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but. We're not, we rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he was- I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, <laughs> but that can only take them away. Come on. But we're not from Bellabog. Take a look at our clothes. Does our equipment bear any resemblance to- Ah, eh, show them the photos, March. Photos? Probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold. Mm. You mean to say that this? Mm. It is said that a long time ago, strange mm. visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. Mm. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. Mm. And Bellabog would. But these people. This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Supreme Guardian, Our job huh? Is to present them before her. Nothing, Nothing more. more. Okay. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Okay. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. Preservation. Ooh. Excellent. Anyway, is this where the the eon of preservation's at then? If so, then that would explain a few things. Don Hung can continue battle now. Excellent. Mm. Hey, it feels like it got a bit warmer. That's oh because yeah. Because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last hmm. bastion? <laughs> Seven hundred years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. Oof. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. <sighs> wow. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Ouch. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. Uh, the steadfast architects built this city under the protection of Klipoth, the preservation. Hmm. The Labog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. Interesting. He's sure saying some weird stuff. Remarked change in tone. 
It sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh huh. So why is he telling us all this? You want no idea. to know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys talk way too loud. Out loud. <laughs> you guys think out loud way too much. And again, so do I, so I've got nothing. <laughs> We saw got strange nothing. creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. A fragmentum, correct? Hmm. How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats. <laughs> including the monsters you saw. Yep. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged with the enemy. But I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian... I would like to consult you on this matter. Huh. We're lacking in intel. Interesting. Okay. Here. Okay. This is Klopoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the Architects. Excellent. The Architects. The saviors of humanity. Long before the arrival of the Eternal Freeze, the Architects braved the doubts and derision of the people never wavering from their construction of its defenses. History has proven that their decision was the correct one. Mm. The architects named this fortress after Klipoth, Eon of Preservation. Mm. Under their direction, humanity has withstood external enemy attacks and held off the eternal freeze. Even today, we resist the Fragmentum's corrosion. This fortress mm. is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. Uh. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the Architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. Mm. The current Guardian is Madame Kakolio Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Mm. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please, have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Excellent. Uh, we're gonna see her right. <laughs> Is there any etiquette we need to observe? Ah, uh, can I tag along? Let's not waste time. No one will notice. <laughs> I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madame Cocolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. Sure, let's go. Bronya! <laughs> it's Bronya. <clears throat> you may leave, Bronya. Visitors have arrived. Bronya. Oh. <laughs> yes, mother. Mother? Oh my goodness. So she's this, the daughter of, of the current. <laughs> Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. Outsiders, huh? The messenger informed me. Well done, Jepard. You may leave. Jepard. Not Gepard, but Jepard. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or, or should I say, I should say beyond, beyond the, the sky? sky. Mm. No? Yes. <laughs> I am Kakolia Rand, Bellabog's <laughs> Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. Mm. So you don't doubt our identity? Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I do, I do not, not doubt, doubt it. it. I can see that you are not from this world. The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the <laughs> distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. Mm. An eon connected our planet to other worlds. And we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. Uh. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Mm. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So mm. do not be surprised. For 700 years, the architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Mm. Tell me why you have come. We want to help you. 
We came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Mm. Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. Mm. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the eternal freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as fragmentum space corrosion began to occur. Correct? Yes. Aeon of destruction, really? <laughs> The eternal freeze is a product of the Stellaron. Stellarons bring about different disasters on different worlds, but every world seeded with a Stellaron will give birth to fragmentums. Mm. You can see us as kind hearted interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. Mm. <laughs> Your. Analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today. But why should you care? Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. Mm. Please let us help you. <laughs> yeah. FYI, we're pretty awesome. <laughs> you know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Delabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. Mm. It's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here, and we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. Okay. Thank you, Supreme Guardian. We'd like to take a look around. <laughs> but of course. You are Bellabog's honored guests and have the highest privileges afforded to you. <laughs> Thank you. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. Yeah, you're fine. What in the heck was that? That sound and that... Okay. Of course, I understand. Do not worry. I have a way. Hmm. The way of what? The way of what? Is this going to be as troublesome as I think it is? In high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. Hmm. She's very reasonable. You know, I didn't think things were going to go that smoothly. <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. Thank you. I will. Uh, wait. Can you recommend some sites? It's well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History <laughs> Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend uh. you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if uh. you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes mm. catch an outdoor performance there. Oh, and uh. if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, Please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guard <laughs> stationed there. So the corrosion is inside the city. Yes, we're mounting mm. a resistance as we speak. Wow. Okay then. 
Visit Neverwinter Workshop. Visit the Everwinter Monument. See what's around the go the go to hotel. Okay, let me see. Ooh, a book merchant. Yay! Collect. And then talk to Fizz. I want to see the adventurous moves. Yep. What books do you have? Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Mytholo mythological tales of Zerillo. An analysis of Zerillo. Excellent. More books for my collections. Yay. Okay. Let me see. What is there to see around here? High end store up in the Bell Dog Overworld. Ooh, we got another one. A vending machine. What the heck? Wow. Okay, then. I didn't know there'd be a vending machine. Ooh, newspaper seller, too. Excellent. Yes, please. Give me that. And that. And that. And that. Why not? Let's get it all. Ooh. Wow, look at the carved ice. It feels perfect for this city somehow. Whatever right? it's made of, it can't be ice. Mm. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Mm. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? Sure, why not? Let's go see what the kids are up to. Listen so let in. Let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards and a temporary mm. guide for the A Journey Through Bellabog's History program. Mm. My name is Pelageya Sergeyevna. That's a mouthful. But you can call me Pela. Pela. Yes, Miss Pela. <laughs> yes, Miss Pena. And perhaps the grown-ups among us could refrain from acting like children. <laughs> okay, guys, <laughs> take a look over here. This is the Everwinter Monument. It was erected to commemorate the mighty architects. Ooh. Architects are followers of the Eon Clopoth. It was they that foresaw crisis, built up our walls, and established Bellabog. Preserving the spark of human That's civilization. a wonderful, Even today, wonderful monument. They are still tending to the city. Nice. Everwinter Monument is made up of two parts. A gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength. And huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal breeze. These two mm. symbols are bound together. The gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects. In the face of nature's barbarity. Nature's barbarity. Nope. No questions from me. Any questions? Does the monument have any specific? What are those blue crystals? Mm, what are they made of? It's geomero. Has undergone a change in color. The color hmm. of geomero is. Who are the architects? The architects are followers of the Dion <sighs> It was they that foresaw the crisis. Built hmm. up our walls and established Bellabog. Or, to put it another way, the architects are Bellabog's <sighs> founders and saviors. Nice. Even today, they are still tending to the city. How did the eternal fleas That's occur? A question for the scientific research division, though they may not be able to give you a definitive answer. Hmm. The eternal freeze is no ordinary natural disaster. Meteorological <sighs> records from hundreds of years ago cannot explain the cause. To put it simply, it's a problem that has plagued Bellabog scientists for centuries. Ah, uh, I see. Does the monument have any symbolic the meaning? The monument is made up of two parts. A gear that's... Okay. I already heard that part. What about you guys? Take your time. We're not in a rush. Hey, thanks for... <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't act like a... Ooh. Collect. Valerian... Valerian 
Petroleum jelly, nice. Welcome to the grocers. What can I help you with? Ooh. I got another music disc. And then solid water. You mean ice? You mean ice? <laughs> Tier 1 sy synthesis material. Logistan. Metal. Mechanical parts. Synthesis. Might as well grab them all while I'm here. Tier 3 sensitive synthesis material. Ooh. <laughs> Language module. Ooh. Recipes. Oh, wait. I need level 14. 14 for that. Darn. I'm not there. <laughs> Thanks very much, boss. Ain't no problem. Okay. Ferdo, roaming judge, huh? Please file a report with the Silver Main Guards if you encounter any civil disputes. Judge. Roaming judge. Nope. <laughs> Waste of time. Well, you shouldn't put it like that. Ah. Can we talk? You seem upset. <laughs> what kind of legal issues do you help them with? You think too highly of the people of Bell. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, moral blackmail, huh? Oof. Wow. Hearing about that makes my head spin, man. All right, let's go see what the entertainment's like. Never Winter Workshop. Hey, didn't Japard say there'd be a show here? He oh, said yeah. he can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes being the operative. <laughs> oh, darn. Oh, I'd been wondering. You see that heater over there? Normally you'd want <sighs> a heater inside a building, right? Maybe not. Maybe they have indoor indoor heaters too, but that might be how they repel the eternal freeze. If so, I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. Oh, come on. It, it takes a heck of a lot of power. It's the Stellaron disaster. <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Broken? Oh, wow. She's cool. Oh, who are you? Broken. Yep. Touch it and find <laughs> out. Ice cold. I was just about to fix it up. Ah, you're a repair exactly. person? Myself. The name's Serval. I'm Serval. I'm the owner of Serval. Oh, nice. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me. Though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Oh, uh, uh we're okay. I was just <laughs> curious about the heater. Curious? About the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find mm. them anywhere in the... We only just got here. Everything's new to us. Only just got here? Mm. <laughs> ah, I figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. <laughs> you must be them? Yep. What an honor. Where are my... <laughs> Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you want. Collect what? Message for new repairers, right? Heating maintenance safety operation manual. Life is about to give birth. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, well, I guess I don't need to read that. It's not exactly important. But hey, let's go inside. Maybe we'll be able to find something out. Wow. Toolbox. <laughs> nice. Yep, 
Hey, Serval. The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzard nice. is brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way <laughs> of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. Below the surface? What? Are there multiple levels? What is Geomero? A special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. Sounds like it's got some sort of radioactive radioactive properties or something. There to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In hmm. the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. Nice. Above and beneath the surface. Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for <laughs> administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. Ah. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Hmm. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Why is the Isn't heater outside? Like food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. Uh, when she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. Uh, no it doesn't, but okay. Thanks for your answers. No sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Thanks. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, <laughs> want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. Sure. Great. We're not busy. Then let me give you a Okay, repair. Rotate the modules to adjust the circuit and direct the electrical current. Oh, nice. Cool. This is the source from which the electric current flows out. And that's the end. Okay. Excellent. All right, so we've got to get that go there. Excellent. R3. Oh, it has connect to all of them. I see. I see. So that won't work like that, but it works like that. Good. Excellent. A video recorder. Oh, nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. You guys are pretty handy. You can set up in no time. <laughs> Want to be my assistants? Average, Average pay, pay, but I'm a good I'm boss. boss. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Do you just say yes to everything? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I was only... Well, <laughs> I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? Open to us and our wallets. Nice. Excellent. I love being able to pay for things. That are worth something. Nice. Man. Its rotation does not produce any effect. Oh, come on, man. Everything needs to produce an effect. If not, it's just a, a showpiece. Which doesn't exactly seem very valuable at all. But oh well. What can you do? Uh, we got one more sh shop over here. Vending machine. And then we got the Everwinter Night. See what's around the Goeth Hotel. I see. Alright, so I'm going to go that way. And first, go this direction. And go down here to the vending machine. Ooh, what's this? Trash can. What are you looking at? Huh. Don't be so harsh on yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So you're a writer? Hmm. That's all for my questions for now. 
trash can. <laughs> oh, let me guess. Is there a special, like... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got a special thing. <laughs> I got a reward. What is it though? Is it a... What is it? Profile. Could it be a... Settings. Oh, yes. <laughs> Perfect. Now everyone can see how much of a trash player I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I like March 7th as my profile picture better though. Oh my gosh, that is funny. That is funny. Okay. Eager for battle. Get that one. Rail under the stars. Get that one. And let's see. Do I have any others? Nope. Okay. Good. Get my rewards. Claim all. There we go. What's here? More notices. Game optimization and known issues. Okay. That's good. At least we're keeping on top of things, huh? All right. Now... The vending machine. <laughs> Healing items. Trick snack. Yes. I need all that I can get. Bottled soda. Nice. Healing spray. <laughs> Jim Roger bread. Jim Roger bread soda. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be Jim Bean, but because it's a free to play. Raid T for Teen game, you can't exactly call something alcohol. So, while it is, it's not. Okay. Woohoo! Another trash can, huh? Oh my. I see. Not every trash can's got treasure in it. I see. Darn. Anyway. Let's go see what's over here. Uh, that's the alley that Japard mentioned. Uh, I can't believe how close it is to the... They hadn't identified it. I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Move uh, back. This is your fun... But... But my proof of property is inside. I don't have any... The fragmentum has mm. already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the architects, but only Silvermane guards are from. I can't believe fragmentum mm. corrosion has spread into the city. Poor no thing. One... This world really is in dire straits. It sure is. But at least we're here. Once we seal the Stellaron, they can get back to the good life. Yeah. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how... <laughs> Poor guy. Distressed citizen, huh? Let me pass. I'm not afraid. I've lost everything. Oof. That's awful. Hmm. Backwater pass, huh? Requirements to unlock this area have not been met. Okay, then. Let's go to the hotel and just turn in for the night, then. 
Ooh, Tale of the Winterlands. Fourth volume, huh? You and me both, March. Touching either one will condemn the other to be swallowed by a pitch black maw. Uh, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Items obtained. Miss, Miss Deliver, Delivered Letter 3. My one and only, my precious, my eternally youthful, my clever and witty, the one worthy of all my love to protect, the one who may not even exist, the true love of my future. Or maybe someone in the overworld can help you with this unsent letter. Okay, then. I'm going to go ahead and go into the hotel lobby. Ooh. This is a pretty big lobby. lobby. It's going to be soft mattresses <laughs> and cushiony pillows tonight. Yep. Want to have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuck with moon feathers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, March. March. Earlier in Clipoth Fort. Yeah. Stop, I know what you're going to say. March, you said too much back there. March, you <laughs> shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, uh. you guys were beating, but check it out. Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support <laughs> of the locals. That's not what I was going to say. Oh, it isn't? All right, spit it out then. Earlier in Clipoth Fort. Uh, Are you paying you attention, paying to, attention the to the Supreme Guardian? Guardian? Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers <laughs> of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. Yeah, if the if the blade was made of ice. Am I the only one that didn't notice anything? Oh wait, no. I knew there was something up with her. <laughs> something up with her? She seemed normal to me. She was kind of harsh at first, but she <sighs> turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. <sighs> Although, it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, mm. but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Uh. I had a similar feeling. <laughs> Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Oh my. Do you have to put it like that? That's scary. <laughs> yeah, be very afraid. Must have been the invisible man. Sharp eyes. Right. <laughs> Perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Me too. Mm. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. Yep. Let's save our energy for the night. I'm going to go ahead and end the recording here for now. And I will see you guys again next time. Here on The Wandering Wind. God bless and have a good night.